Peace and love, blessings and wellness. This is L from the Chronicles of L. And this is our fourth episode of L After Dark. So come on in, grab your wine, grab your weed. Grab whatever it is that you need to grab. Grab your lady, grab your man, grab your blanket. You understand what I'm saying? Grab your vitamin water because I got mine. And it's time. Take a little sip of my vitamin water, then I say, Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be to your West Chronicles of Hell. Thank you for coming through. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be to you. It's L after dark, and y'all know how we do. Uh, blessed be, blessed be, blessed be to you. It's L after dark. Thank you for rolling with your boo. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be to you. It's L after dark, and y'all know I love you. True. Yes, yes, yes. Blessed be yes. I wanted to uh, do another L After Dark episode where I show my face. The last one I wanted to do just a little, just a little silhouette of some light so you can see me just a little bit that gives just a little sexy on my masturbation video. But typically L After Dark is dark because I want you to be able to to not use your eyes to see what it is that you're hearing and that you're feeling. I want you to just listen in the dark. And that's why it's called L After Dark. So, yes, y'all, we about to get the smoke. Get the smoke. Get the fucking smoke. We about to get the smoke. Come on, y'all, let's take a toe. Get the smoke. Get the smoke. Come and get the smoke. Come on, y'all, and get the smoke. We about to take a toe. Get the smoke. Get the smoke. Come and get your smoke. Come and get the smoke because uh, we about to take a toe. Oh, oh, we about to take a toe. Oh, I said, so come on and get your smoke. Smoke, smoke. Y'all know how we do it. Now that I am back smoking. Let's light her up. Now I know at the end of my last video, y'all heard me say that I was going to talk about breast. I don't know if that's 40 minutes worth of conversation tonight, I So I'm going to have to mix it up. Okay? Um, I really truly believe that... The very word, love is a cliche it has so many levels hate love hate love hate it's a very thin line because love is hate, and hate is love. The two are intertwined. And with that, we have so many other factors. We think that love is supposed to make us feel good. We say love is an action. But then we say love is a family. <coughs> mm. Love is a thought. Love just is. And when you have it, you know you got it. You know when you got it because it's always going to be hard to keep. It's never going to flow easy. It's always going to be a fight. Yeah. 
Just wanted to let y'all know that. And in that, when you're in love, and when you are love, <coughs> and when you recognize that love is everything, then you can have intimacy. And in the process of having intimacy, you want to get to your woman's nice, perky breast. For the people 50 and up, her bosom. Her boobies, her titties. Yeah, those beautiful, beautiful, supple breasts that, when stimulated, can give you the biggest. Nipple gasm that you never thought you could have. Yes, ladies, I said nipple gasm. And for men, you can give him a pectogasm. Kiss and lick and bite all on his pecs. Oh, non stop. And not do anything else. Just the taunting, just the tantalizing, just the breathing, just the sounds, girl. Mm. Brother, let me move these chips. My brother's got some damn chips in here. Fucking up our sexy. I think that bag was open, y'all, and I just tossed them. It sounded like I just heard ruffles, cheddars chips scatter all over my dining room floor. That's another story. We'll handle that in the AM. Right now, this is El After Dog. So as I was talking about stimulating those titties, stimulating those breasts, those nipples, you get into sensuality. Mmm. Making love to the nipple. Soft leg. Touch. Whisper on it. Nibble on it. Just adore the breasts. A lot of women, you know, our breasts are sagging. We lose elasticity. Some of us got them lats, them long ass titties. Some of us got them fats, them flat ass titties. Some of us got them sad, them sad ass titties. I mean, some of us got them pats, them perky ass titties. Some of us got them mats. Shit. Damn. Um, I actually meant to say pats. Plastic surgery ass titties. You understand what I'm saying? They all come in different forms. It's going to always be an at, but what's the letter in front of it? <laughs> That's my sexy laugh, y'all. Boy, I really want to bust up and can't. <laughs> and if I really want to laugh, <laughs> now that. Let me bring that all the way back. Let me bring it back. Oh, shit, that was funny. I just made that shit up on the spot, y'all. Real shit. <laughs> I was trying to let y'all not hear my real shit. Because I'm at the point where right now I don't give a shit. Like, I'm letting it all uh, gracefully. I'm just being right now. 
I'm in that point of just being because you never know what is. So with that, I'm not trying to walk all this and this and that for my husband and for my man and for the... No, we're not doing any of that anymore. You know why? Because that's not authenticity. So that was my real laugh. Anyway, um, back to those titties. Back to those nipplegasms. I'm just sitting here with my eyes closed and I'm just thinking of getting my nipples blown on and how that would feel. just the stimulation, just the arousal of the nipples from even the thought will get you in the position of already being halfway there. Just at the thought of how your man is going to make them feel when he touch them. I don't give a damn if they a 32A cup. If you got a nipple, girl, you can have a nipple gasm. Same for the men. You can have a nipple gasm. That's not feminine. You could have a ball gasm. You can have a scrotal gasm. You can have a Head gasm, where just you're gasming just from the tip of the head being stimulated. All that pre cum, that's max stimulation, that's max arousal, that's the next step, that's the closest you're coming to releasing that semen. That's max arousal. Can y'all hear the rain? Let me open my door. It's rainy. That's max arousal. When you're pre coming. Don't think it's not. You can pre come just from having your pecs licked. As you close your eyes, as you're listening to the smoothness of Elle's voice, just imagine your man or your woman just licking on your nipples and just kissing your chest just to feel them breathing, just to hear them talking and whispering as they're kissing every part of your chest. They're just, I love you. You're so sexy. I've been thinking about you all day. I'm so terrible. I want you. I need you. I can't wait to taste you. Oh, I just been thinking about you all Just all that. Woohoo, y'all. I'm telling you. It's going to take you where you need to be. Just imagine them kissing your chest and just talking to you sensually like that. Just the sound of the noise that their lips are making. Mm. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Then you make a little noise with it. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, I am having a blast in here. Just that noise. Just that sound. She doing her little... Or he doing his... <laughs> yeah, you like that, baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at your nipples, girl. Oh, they so beautiful. I love your areolas. They just turn me on. Mm. Your breasts are so supple. For my old schools girl that bosom that bosom that bosom is so round that bosom hallelujah this evening that bosom yes lord I thank him for the bosom see then you get to going off into spirituality and then you turn her off you can't do that Old schools, give thanks for the bosom. Then you need to get to the nipples. You need to roll your tongue sensually all over the area. Clockwise. Then counterclockwise. Then after you're coming back counterclock, as soon as you hit 12 o'clock, take the back of your tongue and just roll it all the way down her nipple till you get under it to the areola. <clears throat> take the areola boulevard all the way down to the outer circle where the breast begin. Follow that road all the way around the titty till you come back to that road. Once you come back to that road, make a U-turn. Take that road back all the way to the other side. Meet up right coming into the outer circle of the other breast. Take that same road all the way up till you get to Areola Lane, past Areola Lane. Once you get to the nipple, go up the nipple, pass it to 12 o'clock, go around clockwise, come around counterclock the other time. Again, go back down, follow the same road, come back out, make a right, go straight. Come back down till you get to the center. Take that all the way directly up her chest. Till you get all the way to the center of the neck. Till you get all the way to his Adam's apple. You can talk and touch and kiss and caress the nipple with your fingers now. As you're talking softly in your lover's ear. So I'm going to give this 35 minutes to the nipple. So I'm going to do what I can to keep this nipple situation as sensual as possible. So you take your hand and you can follow that same direction. You can take your fingers and gently crawl all around the breast, coming up to the areola, and then prickling the nipple ever so gently. 
kissing it, blowing it, touching it, arousing it nonstop, thumping it lightly, pinching it. That's instant, instant stimulation. Sends direct stimulation to the brain because the nipple is directly connected to the pituitary gland. So stimulating it is going to get that mental stimulation, that spiritual clairvoyance. You're going to open up to your partner. You're going to feel your body quivering, jumping, pulsating, throbbing, wanting to be touched more. But the nipple, just the touching of that only and focusing the energy there, it gets you so riled up. It, 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 it. Get you to where you're gonna, oh, you're gonna explode. That's how it's gonna make you feel. Like you're gonna explode. You get them to the point where they're all worked up. And then you stop. And you blow on their neck ever so gently. While their body is just pulsating and quivering. And then you take your hand and you just graze from the neck ever so softly down to the breast. To the pants. And you keep repeating that as much as you want till you either give them a nipple gasm or a pectal black gasm or either you get them so aroused to where they just tell you I need it right now I need to sit on it now or he say I need you to sit on Mommy, I need you to ride. Baby, I need you to ride. Daddy, I need you to ride. Because I'm about to take you on a trip. But I'm going to drive. Do you want to ride? There's no seatbelts where we go. That's where you need to get. Now you can do that. And then you can make them think you about to give it to them. And then you can play with it a little bit on the outside. You can slap it around and hit the clit a little bit. Get her jumping, get her pulsating. Pretend like you're going to put it in. Get it right there at the hole. Kind of pretend like you're putting it in. Get her all shaking and trembling and quivering. And then pull back. And then take your hands and just ever so gently run them from her navel all the way back up her chest back on her breast again and bring the focus back to that attention. I'm telling you right now, she worked up, she, ooh, if you never had her to the point of no return, my brother, you got her now because you have teased her you pleased her, you stimulated her mind right now. She ready to, you could talk all type of just freaky shit to her right now. You could tell her, in the morning, I want 
want you to get up. I want you to make me some pancakes. And I want you to put bananas and blueberries in them too. You hear me? She could be like, yeah. And I want some turkey sausage. And I want them well done. Just like you, my chocolate mama. You hear me? Yes. And I want some scrambled eggs with some cheese and onions. <laughs> mm, don't burn them like you did the last time either. Because I don't like to see no brown shit on my eggs. If they brown that mean you burned them. And just, uh, when you say burned them, just make sure you, uh, connect them to that thing. <laughs> yeah. Tell her, cause I loved you, I ate them anyway. But I'm telling you right now, don't ever burn my eggs again. See, fellas, that's what y'all fail to realize. If you giving it to us like we need it, we will follow the instructions that you're telling us during this time. Because it's so good, we saying yes to everything. And we got to be held accountable for that shit. Tell her, you wash my laundry Last time, Mama, you you shrank Daddy T-shirt. Now Daddy can't fit his T-shirt, and Daddy gonna give it to you, Mommy. And I want you to put it on. And the next time I come over, I want you to wet it so I can see your nipples in it. But don't dry Daddy shirts, okay? You gotta hang dry Daddy shirts, okay? Hang dry all Daddy shirts. Don't try no shirts unless it's daddy's nighttime shirts, okay? I love you. I love you, daddy. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, baby. It's okay, baby. It's just for you now. And I'm gonna buy me another one, so now we're gonna be twins, mama. You want the twins with daddy? And next time we do it, we're gonna do it with our t-shirts on, but I want you to wet yours, okay? I wanna see your nipples while you <laughs> She's gonna go bananas, fellas. Yes, I'm telling y'all all facts. That's actual and factual. Y'all know I haven't sang no songs tonight. Uh, I'm gonna have to incorporate it in here. I only got about 12 more minutes. So, yes, that's gonna get her going. You go back to those nipples, you get her stimulated. You kissing them now. You licking them. You biting her. You biting her in between her chest. You biting her neck now. You sucking her neck. You whispering in her ear. I want you from the back. She beefed up. Ooh, she beefed up. Mm-hmm. She's beefed. You could even play with her clit a little bit to stimulate her while you sucking and licking on her nipples. It's over with it. Act like you're getting ready to put your fingers in and just bring them back up. Just play with her clit a little bit more. Open her lips up and kind of let the air just get in there. And if she on her back, she's definitely going to tremble. Okay. Like, Triple clinch because you're opening up that S1 joint, and that's the sacrum, and that's the place for passion. That's that color red, the way red just is so vibrant and strong. It can be that's why I said love and hate are one because red can be rage, it can be blood, it can be anger, but it can also be passion. And they can be fiery, intellectual, all-consuming, just, just purifying. That is I. I am L. I am your purifier. Purifier. Burning down all the stigmas, all the things that have defiled your bedroom for far too long, we have gotten out of touch and kissing and sensuality. 
and the nipples are so sensual, they're so delicate, they're so fragile. The pecs are so sensual, they're so fragile, they're so delicate. They, they stimulate the whole body, they stimulate the brain, they stimulate the pituitary gland that in tune stimulates the pineal gland. You know, you have four brains. starts to stimulate every hemisphere the wires those those wires that have been stagnant starting to get juice they're starting to electrically electronically reconnect hey you can feel it all down your spine all down your vertebrae, all those senses of communication that you've never felt or that you haven't felt in so long or that you feel into the five max power. And tell your baby how you feel and how it makes you feel so that they can be turned on and ready to do whatever you getting ready to y'all getting ready to do. You understand what I'm talking about? Y'all could get in the 6 9 position and just lick each other's nip. Well, let me see. No, that's not going to work. If y'all get in the 6 9 position, yeah, you're going to be at the pussy and the dick. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. No, y'all. Y'all going to end up. No, we're, we're talking about the nipples tonight, y'all. Stay with me. Um, You know what? We can talk about the benefits of. Six nine on our next episode. Episode five is gonna be about six nine. All right, yeah. But tonight we talking about the nipples. So bring your mind back out of six nine position, because you can get there after you get this nipple gasm. All that trembling and that moving. Ooh, that thing juice boxing. He hard. He hard, he hard, he light as a feather but hard as a rock, ooh, he light as a feather but hard as a rock, ooh, he's light as a feather but hard as a rock. He's light as a feather, he's hard, he's hard, he's hard as a rock. You want that thing hard as a rock, hard as a rock, hard as a rock, hard as a rock. Mm. Ooh, let me come back. My mind was thinking about that rock. Whew. See, and once y'all do that and y'all get that going, the sensuality is going to be automatic. Every time y'all see each other, her nipples are going to get hard just thinking about what you did to her. Just thinking about, ooh, what y'all going to do. Ooh, going to do and just... Looking at how sexy you look when you come home. It's going to change the dynamic of everything if you just take the time to give the nipple some attention. You can be stroking him while you're licking on his pecs. You could be playing with his balls while you licking and kissing on his pecs. Stimulate him. Make him hard. Touch him. Focus in on the peg stuff. Twirling the, your tongue around. Biting his pecs. Sucking his pecs. Pinching his pecs ever so gently and respectfully. Because they're not boo.
and kissing all around it, just all over his chest, and licking and biting and sucking and gently scratching, all and breathing and whispering and kissing and talking sensually all over his chest and moving your body so he can see that ass moving all around while you biting and kissing all on his chest. Yes. Mm hmm. All of that, baby. Every bit of it. You need it all. Don't hold back. And then, if you want to make love, because I know you are, after you're going to do that thing, get that thing going, baby. With just the heavy breathing and the taunting and all that kissing of the neck and just playing with the chest is going to make you even more sensual in the lovemaking. Even if you're fucking, it's going to be more sensual. Why? Because the pituitary gland is stimulated. The pineal gland is stimulated. And that third eye is open and you're willing to do whatever. And fellas, talk to your woman. Tell her about the laundry. Tell her about all that shit. Tell her to go clean up. Do all that while you hitting her. Y'all seen baby boy. When you tell him to go do something or some shit. Use that time as your time so she won't get offensive. Y'all say we always in defensive mode. Well, give us the D. Fence. So we can play all fence. Give me some D fence, daddy. Give me the D. Keep me D that. When y'all say shit about these females, like, oh, that bitch dick day, she's stupid. That don't even go hand in hand, because when you dick days, your eyes are open. You can clearly see eye to eye. And that's why they are so liberal and free. And they get by their men things, and they do things that the world called them stupid for. You're not stupid, boo. You open. Stay open, baby. Stay woke. Okay. Stay open, y'all. Stay woke. Nothing wrong with slopping and slurping and licking your man's balls and his scrotum and his pelvic and sucking all on his penis. There's nothing wrong with licking your woman and fingering your woman and slurping and getting all in that poo thing. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with eating it and licking her cum and licking her booty. Nothing wrong with that, y'all. All right? It's your bedroom. It's under fire. I love y'all so very much. Thank y'all if you made it through 38 minutes and 35 seconds. Bless you. I love you. Increase to you and your family. This was the fourth episode of L After Dark, where we focused on the breast. I love y'all so much. Like, subscribe, and share. Episode 5, we will be talking about 6 9 Be well. Mm-hmm. Hate to leave you with the cliffhanger, but... <laughs>